we met doing a play um, at a great theater company in LA called The Evidence Room. I was kind of like shunned by the rest of the cast because I think that they wanted to like ignore me before I ignored them because it was right after the second season of Will and Grace and I think they thought I was like the fancy TV girl or something. I was predisposed to not be impressed by this TV He didn't watch t lady. TV. I didn't have a TV. He'd never seen Will and Grace, which was um, good. But when we did the first read through in a cast of 25 sitting in a circle, Megan just stuck out as, as so hilarious, which is what prompted me to approach her afterwards and say, you're hilarious. I think this is gonna be really fun. I'm Nick. <laughs> <laughs> it was a little bit of a, a comedy of errors because he asked for my phone number and I gave him my fax number and he left a message on it asking me to go hear some music. I was like a cowboy band and I didn't get the message till like two weeks later so for two whole weeks he thought I just totally like iced him. <laughs> but then when I realized that he left that message I thought it was really sweet and I think we were starting to flirt more by that time. That Megan took a chance on me, it was, it was quite a roll of the dice <laughs> that she rescued me from the squalor I was living in at the time. But he was sleeping in somebody's, um, on a couch in somebody's basement. The first time we went out to dinner, he was wearing yellow overalls and he tucked his napkin into the bib of his overalls. <laughs> that is no Fastidious. <laughs> And he had everybody's phone. He didn't have any paper, so he had everybody's phone numbers written on his pants on the pants of his overalls. <laughs> Couldn't afford paper. <laughs>